NCIS is by far one of the most popular and most watched shows of all time. It takes us through the lives of the agents on the show while they solve mysteries. The franchise has one flagship show and several spin-offs like NCIS Los Angeles and NCIS Hawaii. Stay tuned as we talk about how and when to watch every series in the franchise. First up, NCIS. The original NCIS series has been airing on CBS since September 23rd 2003, and it's currently in its historic 20th season. It was one of the few remaining broadcast series that, even after many years of decline, consistently drew more than 10 million people in real time, making it one of the highest rated shows of its day. Leroy Jethro Gibbs, played by Mark Harmon, was the leader of the major case response team at the actual Naval Crime Investigation Service for 19 of the show's 20 seasons. After Harmon left the show, in 2021, Gary Cole was cast to play Alden Parker. NCIS premiered on Tuesdays on CBS at 8 p.m. and stayed there for its first 18 seasons. In the history of American television, this was one of the longest stretches of continuity for a single series in the same time slot. The Tuesday staple had to be altered in the fall of 2021 when FBI Tuesdays were added. New episodes of NCIS air live on CBS every Monday night at 9 p.m. Subscribers to Paramount Plus can watch the show live throughout its airings and can watch further episodes the following day. If you've missed any of the first 15 seasons, you can catch up on Netflix. If a user subscribes to a live TV service, they can also watch NCIS on Hulu. Individual episodes are sold on iTunes and Amazon Prime Video and can be viewed for free on Pluto TV. You can also watch it on Philo, YouTube TV, Google Play or Voodoo, followed by NCIS Los Angeles. NCIS Los Angeles, the first spin off of the main series, premiered in 2009 and is now into its 14th season. Los Angeles monitors LA based NCIS Office of Special Projects Agents. As OSP agent in charge, G. Callen, Chris O'Donnell, leads the cast. Daniela Rua plays agent Kenzie Bly, while LL Cool J plays Sam Hanna. NCIS Los Angeles debuted at 9 p.m. on Tuesdays after the main series. Before it was moved in 2014 to make place for NCIS New Orleans, it had equally high ratings. It's currently the only series in the franchise to have ended. Los Angeles was moved to Mondays at 10 p.m., where viewership plummeted. When it moved to Sunday nights at 8 p.m., two seasons later, ratings rose somewhat. LA still airs on Sunday nights, but the timing has changed from 8 to 9. Then back to 8 and finally to 10 this season. Unfortunately, numerous fall shows have been delayed or postponed due to football, making some broadcasts start at 10.30 p.m. If there's no football delay, CBS airs NCIS Los Angeles episodes on Sunday nights at 10 p.m. Paramount Plus customers can live stream the series or watch the new episodes the following day. Los Angeles is available on Hulu's live TV package, iTunes, and Amazon Prime video provide episodes for purchase, or you can view the episodes for free on Pluto TV. The series is also available on Fubo TV, Roku, YouTube TV, Google Play, Sling, Vudu, and Apple TV Plus. Moving on to NCIS Hawaii. NCIS Hawaii, the newest show in the series, started airing in 2021. It was a much needed addition to CBS's long list of Hawaii-based police procedurals. Vanessa Lachey plays Jane Tennant, who's the first woman in charge of the NCIS base in Hawaii. Her dedicated team, which includes Lucy Tara, Jesse Boone, Kai Holman, and Ernie Malik, works to solve crimes involving naval officers. Along the way, they deal with problems in their own personal lives, such as Jane's problems with her teenage son Alex, who's now an adult, Kai's problems with his sick father Wally, and Lucy's relationship with FBI Special Agent Kate Whistler. Even so, they keep doing their best to solve each case and make sure Hawaii and sometimes the entire world is safe. 
Hawaii airs on CBS on Monday nights at 10 p.m., right after the flagship show. Subscribers to Paramount Plus can stream the show as it airs or when new episodes are added the next day. With Hulu's live TV package, people can watch Hawaii. You can buy episodes on iTunes and Amazon Prime Video or watch them for free on Pluto TV. The shows can also be streamed on Google Play, Apple TV Plus, Vudu, Fubo TV, YouTube TV, and more. At the moment, the franchise is split between Sunday and Monday nights. In January, CBS will try a NCIS Verse test night. On Monday, January 2nd, 2023, all three shows will meet each other for the first time. If that crossover works, NCIS Mondays might happen again in the future. Next is NCIS New Orleans. In the Big Easy, a city known for its music, nightlife, and decadence, the local field office of NCIS looks into crimes involving military personnel. The show was created by the late Gary Glassberg. The show takes place at the NCIS field office in New Orleans. It follows Agent Dwayne King Pride and his team as they investigate crimes against military members. He's a good-hearted local who heads up agents Christopher LaSalle, who plays almost as hard as he works, and Sonia Percy, a former ATF agent who has to adjust to working as part of a team after years of operating co Overtly. Dr. Loretta Wade, an eccentric coroner, aids them with their investigations. Together, they look into shadier parts of a lively city where military people go when they're on leave. Sadly, the spin-off was canceled after its seventh season aired in 2021. This was mainly because of the fundamental changes in the TV business over the past decade. NCIS New Orleans couldn't match the other two NCIS programs' rating success and lucrative off-network arrangements. Over Overall, NCIS New Orleans has been a decent performer for CBS Studios, with episodes that have aired in over 200 countries. NCIS New Orleans is available on the Paramount Network channels, DirecTV, and TNT. You can even buy the show from Amazon Video, Apple TV, Google Play, or the Microsoft Store as well, followed by NCIS Sydney. NCIS Sydney is the franchise's fifth spin-off series, and here's what we know so far about the show and when it'll air, as well as where you can stream it. Like the other long-running NCIS shows, this one will focus on a team of skilled and hardworking Naval Criminal Investigation Service agents who will work to solve crimes involving the Marine Corps and the Navy. This new installment's notable since it's the first time the series has been set in a country other than the United States. NCIS, NCIS Los Angeles, NCIS Hawaii, and the canceled NCIS New Orleans are all set in different parts of the United States. Aside from that, NCIS Los Angeles creator Shane Brennan, who's an Australian, has taken the lead for Sydney. According to Beverly McGarvey, Chief Content Officer and Executive Vice President of Viacom CBS Australia and New Zealand, the new spin-off will feature superior NCIS storytelling while highlighting unique Australian characters and locations. The cast of NCIS Sydney hasn't been announced yet but the show's producers have promised there'll be many native Australians in it. We're sure every NCIS fan, especially the Australian ones, is highly pumped for this new spin-off to air. NCIS Sydney has been announced for a worldwide premiere in 2023, but the exact date's unknown at this time. Both Paramount Plus Australia and Network 10, an Australian television network, will air the series. CBS, which already airs the other NCIS shows in the United States, is likely to give it a home for its premiere. Finally, NCIS crossover in 2023 has fans going crazy. Starting in 2023, fans of the NCIS, NCIS Los Angeles, and NCIS Hawaii TV series may look forward to a massive crossover event involving all three series. This three-hour journey will premiere on January 2nd. Even though there have been previous crossovers between the two NCIS casts, this will be the first time CBS has scheduled three shows on the same night. The mystery's three-hour plot will kick off in Washington, D.C., where representatives of the different departments have gathered to pay tribute to a professor who taught them. The police aren't convinced by the suicide of a former teacher and start investigating immediately. The next week, viewers will visit Hawaii for an episode titled Deep Fake, headed by Vanessa Lachey's Jane Tennant, before returning to Los Angeles for the series finale.
finale, a long time coming, led by Chris O'Donnell and LL Cool J. The NCIS episode, Too Many Cooks, will kick off the action-packed three-hour journey. Many cast members have come and gone from the original NCIS throughout the years, but perhaps the most notable is Mark Harmon's departure from his role as Leroy Jethro Gibbs at the end of season 19. Gary Cole has replaced Special Agent Alden Parker. Assuming the plot's as solid as it seems on paper, this crossover will probably be easier to watch than the prior one, where fans had to catch up on NCIS Hawaii to get the storyline. That's a wrap for this video. Which one's your favorite spin-off from the NCIS franchise? Are you excited about NCIS Sydney? Let us know in the comments. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you at the next one.